guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity up right hand corner. We have DeWalt starting as the blue Protoss upper left hand corner. We have Bonneth starting as the red Protoss. This is again Fighting Spirit and Fighting Spirit Mania. This is going to be the fourth game of set one. Thus far, Bonneth up 2 1 over DeWalt. And really, if you've watched the streak of both of these guys, Bonneth and DeWalt, hands down, arguably number one player, number two player. Ziki, I feel like, is that third place player where he could upset either one or two, but really hasn't been able to as of yet. So this really does feel like the battle of the top of the top. Although being as lengthy and as grueling, I mean, there's money on the line, but this is a lengthy, grueling tournament. I'm wondering how much this ends up being more like practice for both of these guys as a result. Or maybe it's statement proving for other large tournaments like BSL or the Russian Cyber Games, which is basically the, uh, I think Russian Cyber Games RCG, which was played recently, is, be sure to check that, that one out if you haven't already, is uh, arguably the, probably the largest tournament that's not Korean, de facto. Gateway opener for both players. We'll see if Bonneth op opts to go for that standard two gate play that he is so so well known for. Looks like both players are actually opting to go for an assimilator instead. So mirror matchup, or mirror builds, I should say, in the mirror matchup thus far. But yeah, I, what I would really like to see currently is a run for Bonneth into an attempted into the Courage tournament, or whatever the equivalent is called these days, ACS, for the ACL qualifier or ASL qualifier, I should say, in the Korean leagues. Because I know on stream, it looks like Bonneth once again checking the middle of the map. Probes, not, I think that, a little bit of an earlier probe scout, so it looks like it is gonna be able to get inside DeWalt's base, but I just wanna see how far he would get. Because I know he's beaten professional Koreans. DeWalt also checking the middle of the map, looks like unfortunately he's going to be scouting bottom left and corner. And I think the way the timing works out, he's not gonna be able to get up the ramp. So early game scouting advantage to Bonneth that also opens up the opportunity for potential proxy pylons, getting a little bit of disruption on the probe line here. Two shots there, the Zealot now marching off, while finding the bottom left hand corner and then cycling his way back. But here you can see that Zealot setting up on the ramp and with a little bit of micro can box out probes fairly, fairly well. It's a bit of a micro challenge. First Dragoon on the way. No, it looks like range is upgrading it. It is, in fact, range, not fake range. In the opposite corner. Citadel of a Dune plopping down for Bonnet. So skipping range. So this probe block is going to be enormous. Looks like the probe not going to attempt to, to push its way through. Looks like there was a manor pylon. In the meantime, for Bonneth, so he's going to get a little bit of, and he might get the cancellation as well. You can see all these probes cycling back here and getting the cancel, so pure economic advantage right there. Probes making their way back home. Dragoon Scout pressing forward as well, and I like this Dragoon Scout being aggressive because that is going to, especially out on the forward location, because this will help deny additional movement to check that natural expansion. Temple Archive is about halfway finished. Now the question is, is Okay, we do have a robotics facility building for DeWalt. But keep in mind there was delay otherwise. Bonneth also pocketing a probe at the 12 o'clock location. Might even be going for Proxy Robo to follow this up. We'll see. Two Dragoons versus one. Nothing working out for DeWalt right now. Taking some damage. So getting backed out there. DeWalt, and maybe with that forward, those Dragoons camping the ramp. Maybe the signals will start triggering. He's dropped a second gateway. First Dark Templar on the way, and just because of all of that economic disruption, this Dark Templar is extremely fast. So, the robotics facility is going to come online now. But the Dark Templar already out. Let's see if DeWalt has the sense of might. He is going observatory first, but with the speed of this Dark Templar and this build order, it's going to be close. Let's see if DeWalt sees the Shimmer as he's coming across. This is going to be very, very close. Honestly, I think this DT might be up the ramp before that Observer is even out. 
So Observer being built, Dark Templar is halfway there, Dragoons are moving up as well. And with the Dragoon pressure, even if there's a blockade from DeWalt, it is possible that Bahanath actually might just have the superior, might just be able to do straight up damage. He sees the Shimmer. So blockades, but with that blockade, we have the two Dragoons coming up. So might actually still get some troop damage. Looks like he's holding off for now. The Observer pops out. Bahanath gonna lose that DT. Was able to take out a Zealot and a Dragoon though, and now gonna have to back out otherwise. Second Dark Temple right there. This does give him a little bit of positional control momentarily. It looks like he set up a pylon to maybe take his natural expansion. But DeWalt basically now effectively has the perfect counter. He's got double gateways. He's got, as soon as he gets that second observer, he can start pressing towards that natural. So let's see if Bonneth tries to go with some sneaky troop movement. And also if DeWalt opts to get aggressive or if he's just going to play defensive right on the front. So this first observer is going to wander out. If this first observer can just find the troop location, that is going to open up a lot of things for DeWalt to start pre and if they can also keep track as a second option. Two gateways, range just finishing for Bonneth. Currently behind a little bit in the probe count. This observer is going to wander in, see that natural expansion. And we'll see the response. DeWalt going to go ahead. Actually, he's just going to play straight up defensively. Plopping down the shield battery to make sure... I don't know that he needs that, honestly. This is a very defensive shield battery because this is... He's got... He's up Dragoons against this natural. He's got positional advantage. The Observer here is going to spot that DT on the front. So Bonneth pressing forward. Opni to get aggressive going to get some try to get some free damage against these pylons he needs to be a little bit careful because dewalt yeah now pressing in he's going to get a free zealot at the very least dark templar trying to get on top of those dragoons it's wiped out and now bonneth overextending a bit five dragoons left versus a closer reinforcement point and seven dragoons on his heels he does have a high templar out behind this psy storm is two-thirds away from finishing, but this opens up a window for DeWalt with reinforcements to go ahead and press. And let's see, it looks like he is plopping down two additional gateways. He has his own Citadel of Adun in place. No robotics facility, so, uh, robotics facility. So it looks like he is just gonna go ahead and try to mirror this. Dragoon's engaging, a little bit of a advantage there for Bono with the first shot, but there's more Dragoons out on the field. Psystorm not there yet. Some Zealot's going to take some free fire. Still two Dragoons. There, Psystorm finishes. A decent dodge from DeWalt. More Dragoons getting wiped out. One more little two, two more ticks, and there's going to be one more Psystorm, but I don't think that's going to be sufficient. Now, the Archon morphing in, but you have Dragoons assailing the natural expansion. I'm not seeing reinforcements. Probe's pulling off the line. The Probe's getting really good surrounds, at least on one Dragoon. Two more Zelts trying to chase this back by some time, but the probe count is plummeting now for Bonneth, plus delayed mining time out of this natural. Right now, a huge worker count lead for DeWalt. More reinforcements pouring in. Two cannons being dropped for Bonnet. This is emergency mode just to try to stay alive now. I don't know that they're even going to be able to morph in. More Dragoons coming out. DeWalt pouring on the pressure to take to even up the win count in this set. Probe's actually doing a great job focus firing here. But with these two cannons morphing and DeWalt going to continue to have a dominating control situation. So 10 worker lead. He's also got the two additional gateways behind this. Are we, are we, so it's three gateway versus four gateway production. Templar Archives online as well for DeWalt. And he is in a He's got absolute map control right here, so he can go ahead and grab this third base and take a big lead, dropping a cannon just in case a Dark Templar snuck out in the field somehow. Observer is all over Bonnet's space as well. He's a ways off from having additional vision. Two additional gateways plopping down to get to the five count. And DeWalt responding by dropping four gateways of his own. Speaking of shuttle drops with DTs, I think this might... Seeing the lack of observers inside the base, 
is going to go ahead and wander up. Looks like an observer is just going to be finished, but this could be a dangerous situation. Maybe a possible two-pronged attack if these troops move forward where Bonneth isn't going to have enough to defend both the main and the natural. Observer is getting picked off. But not before Dark Templar are going to be able to get into position before this cannon's online. Probes getting wiped out. And actually, I feel like this is not going to be economically beneficial for DeWalt overall. He's going to lose an Observer at the end of this. He's going to end up losing a Shuttle and three Dark Templar. But he's got resources to spend at this stage. Three clock base online for him. He's now at three expansions in a dominating position in the supply count. And Bonneth in a lot of trouble. Plus one weapons about halfway there as well. So it is up to Miracle Side Storms, maybe for Bonneth, to get back into this, but I don't know how long that is going to be an advantage. Because the Templar Archives is here. It's not going to be too long before DeWalt has his own Side Storms. More observers sneaking out just to go ahead and try to keep an eye. Three clock base being saturated, third gas being added on. Bond attacking on two more gateways. Kind of a nice inverted U shape for the gateway structures. But a dominating supply lead for DeWalt. Sitting comfortably on a... It looks like he's going to morph a Dark Archon. I haven't seen a Dark Archon in PvP. I, I can't remember seeing a Dark Archon, period, in PvP play. Maybe wanting that feedback. I don't know. It just feels like he's kind of... Uh, this is one of those, like, get out sort of things or you're not getting out, so I'm going to kind of mock you for it. Bonneth now walking out. Sizable troop grouping. Walt looking to potentially get a spread. He's got an Archon amidst his forces. Plus one weapons, I think, is going to come online before the... Yeah, just finished. So going to have that weapons upgrade advantage as well. Zelt Lake Speed already there. So now the Dark Archon potentially hunting these High Templar. Ooh, great side Storm over that Zealot Ball. Unfortunately catching a lot of his High Templar there. Now feedback to count one, one of those High, te high Templar before he's really able to enter the fray. A lot of Zealots left, though, for Bonneth. Now working on that Archon, it's been taken out. But more reinforcements streaming across for DeWalt, and you can see by the supply count that Bonneth in a lot of trouble. And DeWalt actually should have... So, I take that back with the five gateway follow-up. Nope, DeWalt's just going to go for it, though. Engaging. Might have enough to go ahead and break this. High Templar with not quite enough energy able to take out that Dark Templar before they're able to drop some feedbacks there. But still a huge troop count. Sidestorm not catching... Well, catching the Dragoons to the north. Able to thin a little bit, but that is overwhelming attack force. Bonneth GGing right there. So the series is now tied up 2-2 two to two in set 1. And it just shows you how back and forth these two guys are. Bonneth, I will say in a lot of series, has had the advantage, but it's been razor thin. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.